All right, so let's talk about the main differences of picking Mona over Shinsho. Mona, all she's going to give you is just that 60% extra damage bonus for your Yelon. She can actually distract enemies by using her elemental skill by distracting them and taking the aggro off of you and putting it onto her Mirror Reflection of Doom. And you can kind of battery with Mona. That's only if you use the Favonius Codex. And I guess the only other thing is that you can get her burst up faster than Shinsho's burst. You know what I forgot to mention? Depending on your constellation with Mona, obviously C4 is an expensive one. Crit rate, right? 15% crit rate. That's what Mona can give instead of Chincho and also C1 as well like if you're using Vaporize Yelon you're gonna increase the Vaporize damage if you're doing some kind of taser team you're gonna increase taser damage as well that's just more damage increase for Yelon but I think that's all the stuff I can give Mona Chincho on the other hand he's got a lot of stuff going for him especially with the sacrificial sword he can freaking battery up Yelon it really helps to get her burst up consistently and then he does provide a little bit of healing based on his max HP as well and as well as a damage reduction if you do have him C6 his C2 does decrease Increase the hydro resistance of enemies by 15% and it extends his burst longer, which means that you can actually use his burst and then Yela's burst. So with Mono, you have all of the following that's on the screen. And with Shincho, you have all of the following that's on the screen as well. But the main purpose of this video is for me to show you the wonders putting Mono with Yelon. All right, guys, so for my DPS Yelon build, I'm gonna go from the one from my video. Just a reminder, we only have 105 energy recharge, but this is where our Mona build comes in. We're gonna put our Mona on a Favonius Codex, and the only thing is that Noblesse is useless for Yelon. Even Tenacity to the middle is useless for Yelon. Usually these artifact sets you put on Mona so you can like support your other characters. But at this point, you might as well just go for damage on your Mona so that way she can help at least, you know, kill everything in sight with your Yelon. The only thing is we're going to put her on a high energy recharge build so we can get her burst up consistently without having to rely on the Favonius Codex to get her elemental burst back up. But I think I'm going to try to get to as close as 300% energy recharge for Mona as possible. I'll be right back with the build. Oh, that might be too much energy recharge. What the heck? My bad. That's too much. Yeah, I think that's better. 63, 104, 300% energy recharge. That looks, good. that looks good. So we're okay with this build. For the sake of the video, I'm going to put two different elements on this team so that we can take advantage of Jenha's um, passive skill. I just put like two beautiful women on this team. So we're good. All right, so without anything, without any buffs. 47k, of course. And we're able to kill this guy pretty consistently, you know, pretty, pretty easy. Go Yang Fei, go! Don't do anything. Yelon? What was that? What was that? Two. We missed two critical hits? Are you kidding me? Oh my. You think, oh, Hydra Sam, 65%. Hello, what did you expect? But I literally have freaking C4 Mona, dude. So I literally have... 80% crit rate with the omen. Did I miss it twice in a row? Man, dude, that's a freaking scam if I've ever seen one. Written in the stars. Don't fail me. Don't fail me now. There you go. Oh, yep. That's like, that's such a huge damage increase. Now, obviously, right, putting Mon on this team is obviously going to give like a bigger damage increase over Shinsho. So how about we test it against a Primo Visha, a single boss enemy, just to see. What the frick? Are you kidding me, dude? Why is it when I'm trying to record these Elon videos, this stupid Primo Vishap is freaking always has hydro resistance. So annoying. All right, guys, we're not getting scammed this time. We're not getting scammed this time. Decided by destiny. Delving to destiny. Here comes the catch. Ooh, we're, yeah, we're doing it, boys. We're doing it. Yeah, Mona can battery yet on her. You just gotta do the rotations right. You just have to funnel the particles with the Favonius. Definitely possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, this is Editor Hydro Sam. I forgot to mention in this video, keep in mind, my Yelon is C2. I do have that extra charge for her elemental skill. But it is still possible if you use a Sacrificial Bow or even like a Favonius War Bow. So just keep that in mind when we were doing our energy restoration with Yelon's and Mona's elemental skills. Let's go try it on Spiral Abyss. Let's see. We won't do the whole thing. We'll just do like Floor 1. I don't know what chamber though. Um, The Ruined Guards give a lot of particles, so that's going to be easy. We can try it with, with these guys. 
The only thing that sucks is that these guys, these Whopper flowers have a lot of resistance. But if we're just testing like the energy recharge rotations, then we can put them on the first half. So let's go ahead and do that. Fate is upon you. Delved into destiny. Game's up. Game's over. Written in the stars. Quiet now. These are about to get dicey. Oh no, we don't have Mona's skill. I mean, burst for this. Gotcha. Fate is upon you. Shadows of fate. Quietly now. I forgot to use Richter Bar since I'm only playing, since I'm actually playing DPS Elan. Written in the stars. Here comes the catch. Bust it. There it is. It wasn't that bad. For just only them two, it wasn't bad. <laughs> Mona with the Favonis Codex seems pretty good. Maybe because we weren't facing a boss enemy, a single boss enemy, but that's why we did the Primo Vishap earlier. Pretty good. Just for like a solo duel. Mona provides that crowd control with her elemental burst, which really helps. Now, what happens if we add Kazu Boy? All right. Let's head off. How's it, boy? How's it, boy? gonna make things very interesting. Let's go kill the Primo Vishap once again, and then go back to Spiral Abyss and destroy everything again. Adorn my knight, wind strike. Fate is upon you. Let me scrap. Here comes the catch. Bust it. Quietly now. Okay. No. <laughs> Ouch. Gotcha. Okay, well he dead all. That was annoying. Back to the spiral abyss we go. As one with wind and cloud. Decided by destiny. Let me scry. Like I had to do a little bit of thinking to funnel particles, but if you don't want to think at all, if you actually don't want to think at all. This is where a venti boy comes in. I had a theory, like, or just like a thought, like if I put double animal, we can decrease our cooldowns by five percent, which would kind of help Mona and Yelon with the elemental skill and burst. That's something to think, especially like if you don't have a healer, I could I could put Jean, or I guess uh, you could put I guess something like Yaimiko or like freaking Fischl, like Taser stuff. But we don't really have a healer on this team, and if you don't have a healer on this team this is where healer mona comes in with the prototype amber but it's whatever you want it's just like a random team i just threw like right now the idea would be to swirl hydro so you can feed a freaking mona and yelon and i think with so much crowd control that we have we don't really need to uh, heal up but whatever healing we need mona will just provide it with her little catalyst brace yourself time for takeoff fate is upon you let me scry are about to get dicey. Gotcha. Quietly now. Wings of darkness, come. into. Here we go. Think you can get away? Decided by destiny. Game's up. Game's over. Gotcha. Take off. Let's play. Busted. Here comes the catch. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, I guess. It doesn't get easier than that. Don't even have to worry about energy recharge that much. Could you substitute sucrose by any chance? Especially if you have like C6. Yeah, I think you could. You just have to do like a little bit more thinking with like funneling particles with Mona. You would have to go back to like Pavonius Codex. Either that or put more energy recharge on your Yelon. Whatever you prefer. But you would just have to make one of those adjustments if you put sucrose. But sucrose is not a bad option. Now I still want to test my theory of double animal just for fun. Like I don't think we'll really use Jean. Ready for anything. But just in case we need healing, she'll be there. What the frick was? What the? That's never happened to me before. How embarrassing! Think you can get away? Oh my gosh, they're so annoying. Well, now they're freaking dead, old dude. Time for takeoff. Yahoo! Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling the extra cooldown thing or whatever. Yeah, man, it's there. That is actually pretty poggers. I can dig the double animal. That's a good one. I really want to get spicy. We can put like freaking Chong Yung. Present. C2 Chong Yung. We decrease our cooldown by 15%. We can try it. Looks pretty spicy. A touch of frost. Think you can get away? Here we go. Decided by destiny. Gotcha. Here comes the catch. Time for takeoff. Yahoo! One with my blade. Infuse the hydro, dang it, infuse it. Venti. My dude, Venti. Written in the stars. Delved into destiny. Mona, finish the job. There you go. We just finished the job with Mona and Yelan's burst. It's fine. We didn't even see it towards the end. Yeah, it's pretty poggers. You can try for fun. I believe in it. For this next team, I want to try putting Mona and Yelan on a vaporized team. The only thing is, since we have Mona and Yelan on the same team, that's a lot of Hydra application. So to have a lot of power application with only two characters, I feel like the only thing that's possible is a Jean Sunfire. And it's okay, Jean Sunfire can work. It's just like if you wanna be Unga Bunga or if you wanna like think a little bit. Since there is a lot of Hydra application, you kinda have to space out your vaporizes with Yelon and Mona. With Mona, obviously, for those of you that play Mona, we're not gonna get that super vaporized burst because we can't wait two seconds with this team because Jean Sunfire is just applying that application too much. But with Yelon, you can get some juicy vaporizes as well. Like I said, it's just like, you just have to kind of space them out, think a little bit. But overall, it's not bad because there's a lot of single target enemies on the Spiral Abyss, especially in the second half. So it could work. It's just up to you if you want to use it. But I'm just letting you know because I tried it and, and it's okay. But I think for this next team, I'm going to switch my Mona to like a DPS build. We're going to give her a Kagura's Verity, put on a decent crit damage crit rate ratio. And to finish off the Spiral Abyss, why not put my DPS Mona and Yelon with Venti? Give me a moment to compose myself. Venti, so you can fill in the energy recharge gap because... If they're DPS, they're obviously not going to have a lot of energy recharge. And then we can put in Cause the Boy for even more Hydro Elemental Damage bonus. Sounds good to me. So a beautiful Mono Hydro team, in my opinion. And yeah, let's go destroy the Abyss with this team. Think you can get away? Get away. Gotcha. 
I still think the real Hydro Jewel are these chicks right here. Not saying Mona is definitely way better than Shincho. I'm just going to be biased, biased, right? But definitely, definitely Mona is a great Hydro partner for Yelon. And there's just like a lot of things you can do with her, I guess. If you have Mona, I know she's a five star. But you know, if you love your Shincho, it's a great little Shincho. I definitely like these two characters together. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. I love you all. And just make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one.